Hello, it's Peter Dudley and I'm a logic trainer. It's been a long while since I've done a video, I apologise about that. Um, I'll go into the reasons maybe in another video. Um, today I wanted to share with you a really interesting and quick way to create an empty MIDI region containing a note or a number of notes. The traditional way would be to create a software instrument track or an external MIDI track, then create an empty MIDI region and then double click on that region and then whichever editor you're in, whether it's the piano roll or the score editor, you could add your notes from there. But I have found a way, partly by accident, which is way, way quicker. So I uh, just wanted to share this little nugget of wisdom with you. So let's go straight to Logic. We're going to start by selecting an empty project. And as I just mentioned, we need to create either a software instrument track or external MIDI. Either will count. So let's go for a software instrument track for now. Let's just close the library on the left hand side just to save the screen space. And normally you might want to program some drums or you know some piano part in step time mode. However, there's this much, much quicker way. So we go up to the window menu, go down to the step input keyboard and if I want to create a note that lasts for a whole bar that's my note value from a range of note values there dynamics here so let's make it the loudest possible velocity and let's say that I want that note to trigger C1 there you go I've just created a MIDI region without having to resort to creating one the traditional way which is to do a con control click in the main workspace um, or use the pencil tool would be the other way to create an, an em empty MIDI region then I've got a double click in the MIDI region and then start entering notes but this is much much faster now if I undo that I'll give you another example of why this could be helpful let's say I wanted to create a chromatic note pattern that's possible and this would take you a long time um, if you're adding these notes one by one so this is a way to do a chromatic note pattern. You've got to carefully click each of the notes on the keyboard. I've selected the 16th note in this case and then just drag across the notes. So I now have a MIDI region that contains, you might have the odd little mistake there like I did on the end, but pretty much had a, have a perfect chromatic scale there. Um, that could be useful for example for triggering certain drum machines, uh, drum machine plugins like Stylus RMX that are based on chromatic patterns. Now I want to share a keyboard shortcut here which is if you want to change the pitch of a note in the piano roll you press the option key and the up arrow and that will change the note pitch by a semitone. So up arrow raises it a semitone, down arrow lowers it by a semitone. So it's very quick to actually alter the note pitches and if you press Option and Shift, you actually jump in octaves, which is also very quick and useful. So that's today's very, very short logic video. Hope you found that very helpful. Thanks a lot.